Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Tax Laws video. I finally got my hands on the new Blackmagic eGPU from Blackmagic Design of course, which is only sold by Apple. Apple is advertising it as the additional thing to give your MacBook Pros an external eGPU and more power for, let me show you, number four, one, virtual reality gaming and programming, number two, uh, normally casual gaming or heavy gaming. But of course, these are not the real things because this device costs 700 euros. For 700 euros, you would get, an, uh, uh, yes, you get a decent middle class PC for, for gaming. But if you want to be productive for this, for example, of course, it's Blackmagic, so DaVinci Design or even Final Cut or anything like that. And then you want not, you don't want a Mac Pro, you don't want an iMac, you're an iMac Pro. No, you want something portable um, and you need more power. This should be the device that gives you that much more. This should be the device that gives you more power. For a price of 700 euros. Yes, this is a lot, but we talk about the price later on. First of all, what is what a GPU are we talking about? In here is an AMD Radeon Pro 580 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Then you get, of course, you get additional ports. You get four Thunder USB 3.0 ports. You get two Thunderbolt 3 ports. You get an HDMI out. And this is only for the, the, our normal PC charger. Um, of course, this device will also charge your MacBook with 85 uh, watt. Uh, but two things are missing. I mean, Apple is designing this as an as a display hub. So where is my display port? This is also a normal hub. So where is my Ethernet port? Maybe my SD card reader? There would have been enough space here and enough performance and power in the thing to give me those ports. So this is something I don't feel really, it's not really thought through. The other thing I'm still complaining about, uh, hopefully you can read this one. Here are the benchmarks, which are telling me something about Cinema 40 DaVinci Resolve and another DaVinci Resolve benchmark with a 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2018. So those benchmarks without the eGPU and with the GPU look fantastic, of course. But where is Final Cut? Where are the Apple software? Apple software is not really yet uh, supporting the eGPUs. Of course, there will be an update in weeks, months, years, and then this will be nice. But until then, this is something for, for DaVinci Resolve, for example. So uh, what's next? Of course, let's have a quick... Uh, Look inside, what do you get for 400 euros? Of course, you get a nice box. And maybe we can open this nice box as well here. Let's find out. There we go. We open it once, we open it twice. And first we see uh, the Black Magic GPU guide with is only a thing that will tell you thank you for buying our stuff how to plug in one cable how to plug in another cable and how to plug the same cable also in your macbook that's everything you will get from this book no stickers of course this is no no apple product then under here we get our cylon oh, and now i have to stand up to get it out because this thingy is definitely way heavier and way bigger than I would have expected it to be. What else is in the box? Maybe you can see it. Nothing more, only one case here. So, in ho I'm sorry for that. I hope the camera will show you what's inside. So, you don't get an on-off button. You get this really big and sturdy aluminum case. You get plastic and rubber on the, on the down here. Nothing on the sides and on the back you see our ports. There is no on off button. This device will stay, uh, will activate itself if it's plugged into your MacBook Pro. And you hear me talking MacBook Pro all the time. 
This is because you need a Thunderbolt 3 port here. The 12 inch MacBooks, the normal MacBooks, uh, don't have Thunderbolt 3 inside their USB Type C ports. So, this is the reason why you only can use this with Thunderbolt 3 devices. Maybe one, some Windows devices as well. Those things should be, if Apple supports them, shouldn't be a problem, but we could talk about this later. So, even if you got this 2016 2017 MacBook Pro, this device will help to give you more th power of speed or whatsoever. What's in this box here? Two things are still messing, uh, missing until we can start using it. One, a uh, half a meter Thunderbolt 3 cable. Yes, half a meter. I know, half a meter Thunderbolt 3 cable costs normally around 30 euros. But I mean, I just paid 700 euros for this device. Give me a meter cable or give me two one meter cable or give me at least one two meter cable or anything like that. This is definitely a disappointment. And the other thing is we also get our normal power cord here. So this is everything you get for 700 euros. One, two, three, four. So and now we are talking about the price of this device because Number one, uh, I checked the prices of the Radeon Pro 580. I only could find prices with a four gigabyte RAM version, which is around 280 euros. So just play it safe here and say 300 euros for the eight gigabyte Radeon Pro 580. So then you pay 400 euros for this case and those two cables here. Is this expensive? Mm, not really, because keep in mind, I could now tell you something like, oh, you, we, we save 30 euros on this one and we get we save another 20 on a normal USB HDMI hub or anything like that. So we saved another 50 euros. So this case costs only 350. I don't do this. I just say this device costs 400 euros without the GPU. Other cases without GPU from uh, HP or from, from Razer, for example, they also built those cases or cases like that where you can put in your own GPU, your normal, I don't know, NVIDIA gra graphic card or AMD graphic cards, your normal cards you can put inside there. Uh, but those cases cost normally or starting price is also around 300 euros. So here you get the official Apple supported stuff. And another thing, advantage of this device, it should really be quiet. Um, I read something about 18 decibel. Yes, ultra quiet, 18 decibel. 18 decibel is quite to nothing. You won't hear a thing or at least quite to nothing. Or this device definitely gets louder than your MacBook Pro, for example. But on the downside, this uh, one unit is not upgradable. So you buy this for 700 euros, you use it one, two, three years, and maybe in three or four years when you need more power, uh, you can't just swap out the graphic card and put another graphic card in here. No, you can't. With the other solutions, you build your own eGPU unit. There you can switch your graphic cards. This is an advantage, but, so, but those devices are maybe louder and maybe not that good supported by Apple. So this is everything that's in the box. This are my first thoughts about the device. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.